right, what's good, y'all? Now, today we're talking about how being gay is not a sin and how that has been something perpetuated, especially within our black community, repetitiously, that we are basically an abomination we ain't meant to be, uh, you know, all this religious rhetoric and etc. So, I wanted to go ahead and make a comment or a video on this because as we seen a while back, during my absence, Tusi, the rapper, ended up being attacked by Asian Doll, which is another rapper. Also, she was on Baddies. About basically, like, he made a comment about her. And the first thing that she did was go in and start attacking him, calling him gay, etc. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and play the clips. We're going to react to them. And I'm going to let y'all know what it is. And the fuck did being somebody girlfriend make you famous? When the fuck was that ever a celebrity? You could just go on famous birthdays now and you will fuck being celebrities and you don't even know what the fuck they do. They just somebody girlfriend or fucking baby mom. It is crazy. They don't got a product they selling. They don't do nothing. They don't got nothing going on. They just famous because the world done blew them up. It is crazy. Like. You actually had to put in work to be a celebrity back in the days. The internet is blowing people up. I be seeing with 7 million followers. I don't know what she do. I be seeing, and, and, and it's really, it's, it's not even like the real world, because it's really, it's the, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's the freaky out here that got all these girls blowing up. You feel me? You don't even know what the f*** they do. I, no, I ain't talking about nobody, baby mom, in particular. No <laughs> All right, hello. So first, let me just say, that was the first clip of what his statement was, why she even responded. Like I said, this is what they do. You say anything that you believe or whatever your position is on something, and then they start attacking you, figuring out ways to throw you up under the belt and discredit your opinion by saying anything that has nothing to actually do with the topic. See, that's what is wrong with society right now. People are not addressing the elephant in the room and actually having an intellectual conversation with somebody about what they said. Instead, they get triggered, they're offended, and they start attacking somebody and saying stuff that has nothing to do with it. So, basically, he said that she goes and says that he's gay, brings up these old pictures and everything. But first, let me just say, I want to go ahead and react to what he said. I feel him on that. That is facts. Now, he had a lot of passion behind it where I feel like as a feminine person, which I need to realize, fem men, y'all need to realize feminine people feel like when you are passionate or expressing something, that's all they care about is your reaction. And they feel like you're bothered, pressed, and it's coming from some secret hidden area in you that you ain't addressing. And they're going to go ahead and try to call it out and try to make you feel bad. You know what I'm saying? That's their agenda every time. And... What he said has some facts to it, though. There are rappers, women, women of rappers, baby mamas of rappers like Ari. They got bigger than even him. Because what it is is, dude, a lot of these people don't want to be rappers or anything. They just want to be taken care of. There's a high population of people who just want to be sugar babies and be taken care of and live an easy life and not have to put no work in. So those people are getting big because there's a lot of people who want to live like them and be like them, so that's why they're watching them. It's no different from rappers, people like me, content creators, etc. People watch people for certain reasons and something that they get from it. So I do believe that there is still a talent in getting people to watch you, even if you don't have an actual, you know, singing, rapping, acting talent. Those are just classification talents, but real talent is being able to get anybody to really just watch you, pay attention to you, and send you some money. For whatever that talent is, whatever they're getting from it, content, you know, uh, whatever. It's still a talent. So I do think that he was being a little passionate on the side of also he is not as big as he may want to be. So, yes, he did respond in this very, you know, abrasive way to it that could put people off. But like I said, feminine people, if you just address it as it is, you're going to actually touch more on that person as opposed to doing the same repetitious rhetoric of just attacking something else that you feel like they could be soft about to try to hurt their feelings. Y'all got to basically get out of the whole, it's obvious I'm trying to hurt your feelings and just 
because but the reason why y'all can't get out of the obvious I'm trying to hurt your feelings is because your feelings are obviously hurt or you're triggered. So y'all do like this even like you think it's an even exchange, but really y'all would be better in off reaching people if y'all just go ahead and react and respond to them. Listen to respond, not to react. Alright? I mean listen to understand and respond, not to just react. Alright. So, yeah, she goes on the rant, says, uh, basically, she posted this picture of him with these boots that look like pants boots or they're boots under the pants, but it looks like it's all one. He does look fun boying in this picture. That is true. Oh, um, Jesus Christ. Your ass a sissy. Fuck wrong with you? Punk at him. We got this punk. Girl, now we're going to let Tusi make it, man. He's fighting demons. The demons is his sexuality. Good house or something, punk, bitch ass nigga. Your ass a hoe. On my mom, your ass a bitch. On oh, Jesus Christ, your ass. Not go build a house or something. She's hella trying to dig. She really digging. She really pressed about that statement. It's a sissy. Go oh, I was wondering. I'm like, oh, because she was connected to King Von. Okay, I was wondering because I was like, I would have expected this response from like Ari or something, but. She was connected to King Von. That's what got her known for a lot of people as well. Even though she already had her own steam going. I remember her from Instagram, but not as a rapper. So I feel like she had talent with pictures and stuff. Because she's bad. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like her talent, you know, it's... Mm, it doesn't sound bad, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? She hasn't popped out yet. Neither Shoot. one of them have. They both on the same level, if you ask me. Punk ass nigga. We got this, this punk ass nigga over here with these tight ass leather pants on with these long ass boots. Go get your bitch ass on, ho, and go kick rocks in them big ass long ass boots. Oh, now we gonna let Tootsie make it, man. The world full of real niggas. We got. Hey y'all, I'm laughing, but don't get it twisted. It's only just funny because it's roasting. But I'm not, you know, what I'm saying I'm not feeling what she's saying for real. So many niggas that got so many songs talking about how they giving hoes money, how ho they ain't, they fucked up about they bitch, how they love they bitch, how they. And we got Tootsie that get on the internet every day and talk about how girls not shit. And all right, you know what? I can feel her on that. I don't know what he do. He might do that. Um, the one thing, and I don't care who take it and try to flip it, and it is what it is at the end of the day. Stop trying to use a person being gay as an insult, or stop trying to claim a person to be gay as an insult. Like, facts. That shit not no insult. If being straight not an insult, why is being gay an insult? Like, to me, that should be backwards. I think the motherfuckers that throw being gay around as an insult is the motherfuckers that need to be attacked for real for real because yeah. y'all trying to insult people like that's what y'all trying to do y'all you're you're trying to use calling a person gay as an insult them is the motherfuckers who really need to be attacked feel me hey i respect that, that now we gonna let facts all right hey that was facts right there bro that was facts, and I appreciate him saying that. Even though he, you know what? That's that's real right there. That wasn't pandering nothing. He didn't try to profit off of it. Nothing. You could tell the sincerity in his voice. He's speaking his mind like a content creator. You know what I'm saying? She was offended, and so she threw these jabs at him. But facts, black people especially got to stop trying to use gay as an insult. It's not an insult. And I noticed something. Y'all only do that when it's a dude that's straight. Y'all never do that with us. Y'all never do the actual, like, y'all, I never, like, y'all, real talk, when I was on the DL, niggas was always trying to call me gay and shit, you know, the F-bomb, all that, you know what I'm saying, because they felt like they had the power to hurt me with it. As soon as you own it and you actually be yourself, man, they don't feel like they have the power to say it no more, so they don't ever say it. And I was expecting people to get, to be homophobic towards me after I came out, and they never did, y'all. I haven't been called the F-bomb from somebody outside of the gay community since I came out. I know I have behind my back, but that's my problem with this. Say it to our face so that we can get y'all's issue. Because y'all over here secretly, you know, that's just like a racist walking around you being secretly racist and they not saying nothing. And just because they not saying nothing... But you around him though. I don't want you around me if that's how you feel. Do you get what I'm saying? Stop trying to act like y'all doing something by not being homophobic. If that's who you are, be that. So that I don't have to be around you and I don't have to support nothing you own. All of that. Y'all be literally getting away with 
that by not expressing it. So I want y'all to express it. Yeah, so that y'all can get y'all's issues straight up. Because we ain't going to get nowhere by acting like ain't nothing there. Stop using gay as an insult. This is not a sin. All right, to all my other fellow gays and anybody who's thinking about coming out and to straight people, let me tell y'all something real quick. Trying to relate you being a criminal, a cheater, you know, being in morale, you know, et cetera, that has nothing to do with us, sex, uh, of our sexuality and living in our truth. We are not sinning by living in our truth. Sins only affect other people. That's all I got to say. Straight up. I don't care if that's what your opinion is. To me, a sin is it has to affect somebody else. If it's not affecting nobody else, you can't call it a sin. That's manipulation. All right? Straight up. So, also, I wanted to react to a, a couple other videos on this topic. And here's one from fellow gays about this topic. Just so that y'all see, it's not just straight people who be having you're not born gay. these topics. No, you're not born gay. Okay. Are you that. kidding me? Are you born a murderer? Are you born a killer? Like what? Okay. Nah, see, instead of saying okay, you should have got on that nigga head right there. Nah, you ain't born a killer. You're not born a murderer, but you can be born gay. You can become gay after as well. You can be influenced to be gay as well. I do agree with both of those standpoints but what he said at the end is what i want to address and this is what i gotta this is what we have to start addressing every time stop being quiet when they say that y'all you have to know that you're not doing nothing wrong even if someone wants to call it a sentence an opinion because it isn't affecting anyone else you can't convince me that i'm equivalent to a criminal a murderer a rapist etc you you gotta miss me with that one Y'all have been misled by religion to think that if you are living in your truth, that that means that you are in morale automatically or you're equivalent to somebody who's toxic. Straight people will do that all the time. That's not acceptance. If someone says, well, I can't judge you because, you know, I'm not perfect either by saying that that's how they accept you. That is literally saying that they think that you are less than by being yourself. Y'all got to be able to read between the lines. Me living in my truth is nothing wrong with that. Me loving another man does not affect other people. So stop allowing people to tell y'all that y'all are equivalent to immoral, toxic, messed up people. We are not the same. All right? They are not like us. And stand on that. Okay, then. Like, what? Are you born a killer? Okay, no, you're not. That's something you picked up when you were born. You're not born with personality traits, bro. You're not born with preferences. No, you're not born gay. And anyone that thinks they're born gay, they're taking the power away from themselves to change. First of all, we don't need to change. That's what you need to realize. You self-hating, you need to change, all right? Let me tell y'all something. You don't need to change. There's nothing worse than not being who you are. God put you in this world, right? To be yourself if you mimic other people you're gonna miss out on blessings because everybody else is taking you might as well be yourself be yourself because everyone else is taking there's no point of trying to be like other people if that is who you are that's who you need to be because you that's where your calling could be and everything you're gonna miss out on your blessings and your calling by trying to please other people there's nothing wrong with you living in your truth being yourself and if you are attracted to other men, regardless if you got there based on being born or if you acquired that later, this is a very argumentable topic because straight people can't really say anything about it because if you're not gay, you can't even really say if someone's born gay or not because you can't relate. But as a gay person saying it, he might have been molested or something. So he might, you know, a lot of gay people are not necessarily gay just because they are actually just gay. I mean, honestly, some people have been turned out. Some people have been, um, you know, taken behind their will. So they just uh, acquired a liking to men, and they don't know why. So that could be where the the uh, the self hate can come from as a gay person, because why would you feel? Because that to me, that's what it has to be. Because in my opinion, I, I I'm gonna say honestly. I don't think that we're born gay or not. I think that we are forced on both. 
So I think a lot of straight people ain't born straight. They was just forced to be straight. So I feel like we are all a combination of what, you know, collectively we grew up around, what we've been influenced by, et cetera. Yes, when you're, when you're younger, you're like a sponge. So you do acquire and suck up all this stuff, you know, the energy around you and the beliefs and et cetera. But so, yes, you're going to be a makeup of what you endured after being born. But I do believe that Some people could possibly be born gay. I'm not going to take that right away from them and believe that. If that's what they want to believe. All right. Straight up. This kind of type of conversation because people on here are so their spirit is tainted. If I had this discussion in a church setting somewhere else, it would get a total different reaction. But the fact you that you talk about this in church, the, girl, please. Yes, I would talk about this. It's I just talk the about setting. This in a church setting. Listen, listen. Manny, it's the so setting that I'm in. It's the setting. It's the setting. It's the setting. Just let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Manny. A water bottle in the air. You know what kills me about people with this religion rhetoric? They believe that Adam and Eve started everybody's life. That means that we would all be related and we would be from incest. And they're gonna trade up here and try to what? For is ten dollars. A water bottle at at the store is a dollar. A water bottle at a baseball game is five dollars. A water bottle at the corner store is two dollars. It's all about the environment yes. that you're in. It's not me. There's nothing wrong with me. It's the environment yes. that I'm in. No, what you're saying is is that yes, a racist in the Ku Klux Klan is definitely going to be justified. But outside of that, he may not be justified. That doesn't prove anything about what your point is. Of course, in certain settings and around certain people, this would be a different conversation that are going to agree with you. And then there's going to be other situations where they're still not going to agree with you. That doesn't mean anything. You didn't say anything when you just said that. There's people that think what I think and there's people that resonate with what I'm saying. It's not me. It's water. It's still water at the airport. Y'all know what I notice a lot about a lot of people? When they get to talking a lot of bullshit, they get their eyes get big. Like they be the whole time talking like this. And I feel like it's because they're trying to convince themselves of what they're saying. Because what are you talking about? If that's what you want to believe for yourself, that's fine. But like I just said, why is that so hard? Yes, I agree with the fact that you may not be born gay, but I'm not going to take that away from other people if that's what they believe. Who are you to tell somebody what to believe? Still water at the baseball game, world. but it's about the environment that you're in. Sometimes I have to change my environment. It's just about what, what, the what environment is water at the in. airport, water at the baseball game. Nobody you're knows not, what that means. You're but you just sit over there and you analogy. had this conversation at TD Jakes You go to TD Jakes Church and you had this conversation in front of TD I don't need to change myself. I need to change my Oh my gosh. Wow. Alright, so yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to go ahead and comment on that topic and reassure all of us that we are not committing a sin. We are not equivalent to anybody who's toxic and messed up in the head. We are perfectly normal. Throughout time, they tried to make it like we were sick in the head and everything in the 70s and everything, but we've progressed past that. But a lot of people want to still hold on to that rhetoric from religion and you know they have the right to believe what they want but I want them to express it more so that we can know who our ops are in plain sight that's what you really want to uh, look at this as y'all there's nothing that we're going to get out of trying to convince people to accept us who just don't want to and who choose not to okay you got to be you know your own beliefs you got to set your own beliefs up based on your day-to-day -day life not based on what you were told as a child or what someone wants to force fe force feed you to believe. I'm supposed to be looking at this camera. You don't want to believe what anybody else force feeds you to believe because you want to be yourself. And also you want to look at it like if God didn't mean for you to be here, you would you just wouldn't be, okay? Don't allow other people to tell you what is meant to be and what's not because they're playing God when they do that, which means that they're not 
really religious because they know that that's an abomination to their religion. You have to know that the creator is the person who gets to dictate or the being that gets to dictate the universe that gets to dictate whatever you believe in, who is here. None of us told other people, oh, no, that person can't be born because they're this or that person can't like, no, you don't have the right to tell other people what is true and false. You get to tell yourself what you choose to believe your truth and false. All right. Now, I will say that there are facts and we'll talk about those type of things later. So regardless of what you believe in, facts are facts. You know what I'm saying? However, when we're talking about this type of stuff, these are definitely not facts because we don't know for real what any of this is. As people, we all just trying to figure it out and living day to day with growing and understanding this world more and more. You know what I'm saying? So we can't really say what's wrong or right, what's supposed to be and what isn't. And you just got to be happy and live in your truth. And as long as you good, that's all that should matter. Don't care about what nobody got to say. They're most likely condemning you for being yourself because they're not being their self. And it may not be their sexuality. It could be, you know, Asian doll don't even want to be no rapper. She might be into something else and she's doing this just because it's going with it. So, yeah, she's going to like people like that are going to have a problem with people who live in their truth. They're going to be intimidated by us, bro. You got to know that. All right. As a, especially as if you're going to be a masculine man in this environment, you're going to be targeted by people like that because they've been believing that the only people that exist as gay are flamboyant. Obviously, when you look at this person, they're gay or deal. That's what they're used to. So when you step out that box, you upset people and you confuse people and that intimidates them because they no longer can come out and say, you're the F-bomb. I know a lot of people stop watching me just because they can't attack me. You know what I'm saying? I'm bulletproof to that type of stuff because I don't care. If I did, it would be obvious because I would not be up here on this platform talking about this. So that's just the first state right there. So it intimidates people that you have the ability and the strength to be yourself in a world full of adversity and people judgment. You know what I'm saying? Because it's in all ways, like I said, it's not just sexuality stuff that people suppress themselves about. So, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and say that people full of shit. All right, y'all, ever since I came out, I ain't been called the F-bomb one time, and I think, and I know why. They know that they would catch this issue. All right, not only would they be obviously homophobic, which I don't respect that. If you're going to say it to a nigga that's on the DL or a nigga that you think is straight, and you're just going to use it to attack him and demean him and belittle him, then you need to use that shit with us instead of, because them type of bitches right there, them the same type of bitches that'll come up in a gay dude face, an openly gay dude face, and be all up in his fucking face. All right? Sitting there letting him do her hair and shit. Okay, that's another thing. These females, they only rock with gay people when it's obvious that you're gay and that they can tell. They look at you like a sister. You know, it's clock and tea, and it's just a bunch of fun and bullshit. But when it comes to an actual masculine man or a masculine bisexual man, they got a problem with that because they can't connect to that because... They feel like you're supposed to be flamboyant, and if you're not, that throws them off because it looks that you look like a dude that they mess with, but you're not the, their type, and it makes them think about all the dudes that they mess with and question them. So it's very difficult being a straight black man anyway, just because even if you aren't gay, you're going to consistently be accused of it. You get what I'm saying? But the first part we need to start at is stop using gay as a attack. It's not an attack. There's nothing wrong with it. They only do that to straight men. That's how you know they're full of shit. All right? I wish somebody would do that with me. I wish. So I can give it to them. Boy, I've been waiting and it never happened. You expect stuff to happen when you come out that don't happen. Like, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, they be full of it. All right? So, yeah, y'all. That's it for this one. Let me know what y'all think. Hop in them comments. Like and subscribe. Y'all feel me? I'll see you on the next one. Peace. No, I don't give a fuck about what anyone say. Uh, no, I don't give a fuck about what anyone say.